Hey everyone, this is the new LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Modular Skate House. There are, of course, three official major builds, but within each of those there are additional variants. So I'm going to start you out, as usual, with the smallest, simplest official build, which is this little layout here, which is really good, actually. It's surprisingly good, to the point where I think they could easily have released a smaller, cheaper set that just had this build and nothing else and they could have just sold this because this has all sorts of great stuff going on with it it's such a good use of space and good use of the parts and it is one of those modular sets like they started to uh, started to do for the creator line uh, last year but uh, they actually did it well here that is a print not a sticker shocked to see that added in there but look at all the different stuff that you can do here and it scales actually well or respectably well I think to the Lego skateboard piece I'm not gonna put the helmet on this guy just just yet which is unsafe but you know you can go through each one of these things with this size of skateboard and just you know use your imagination a little bit it, it's good I like the color scheme as well it's a little different but it has just enough brightness to it you know it's got some earthy tones but also some brightness and yeah it's it's a good solid layout with a, a lot of possibilities for actual play if you want to you know do a little bit of, of of active play with this thing you could actually spend a good time figuring out different ways to chain different tricks together and such and then with the modular building system like i said it, it's it's not annoying this time they actually did some good stuff with this like for instance you take these two pieces apart and they can just easily be clipped together. Let me just take the, the ladder. Well, here's one thing you can do. Create monkey bars there if you want. Not entirely safe for skateboarding, but you can bring these two kind of close together. They're not going to perfectly line up, but you know, if you swap out one single piece there, you could easily uh, change that up. But beyond that, you also have the center section that can be popped up. This is great. I'm actually going to reattach these two here. I'm going to reattach this guy here, this guy here. This can be <laughs> just turned. So now it's just one long straight, you know, chain that goes from end to end. And then this can still be, the section here can still be used separately. It can be used uh, around here. You can still put it in that spot. You can still put it in this spot here independently. There are just different things that you can do to rearrange this. Let me see if I can do this a little bit differently as well. I think I can, yeah, do something like that. Not a perfect setup there, but these modules actually make sense. That is, that is, that's actually kind of a nice looking little little corner right there. Needs a little work just in the center here, but you know, you could turn this into something that would work out pretty well. Hopefully there's some skateboarders out there who are actually watching this and know what I mean. You can start to see some of the lines and such. So this works out well. And like I said, this is just the smallest, simplest build. Oh, and of course, you can also just connect these two halves together to give yourself a nice half pipe. There's nothing too fancy going on with either of the figures. I think that they just kind of look like modern classics to me. You know, just modernized versions of just the the most classic, simplistic, wholesome, smiling Lego figures. One male, one female, different uh, hair types. I also appreciate the inclusion of the medium azure uh, set of legs. Those can be swapped back and forth between the two. And yeah, I think these are pretty perfect for just your run-of-the-mill creator usage. And they do include the one helmet. Too bad they don't include two in the set. That would have been more appropriate, but there is only one skateboard, so either way they kind of have to, to take turns. Okay, this middle build is something quite different. Looks like the start of something potentially really good, but it looks like it's going to be just a piece of a building. It's just a corner of a building with a loading dock off on one side, and this is the main entrance, I guess, over here, which has a sign up top that starts to give you just a little bit of a suggestion of the type of thing that you will find inside. This is an arcade with dark red walls. 
a good choice, a good combination, if you ask me personally. <laughs> has a, a security camera up there to make sure nobody steals the the balls, I guess. From this over here, you've got just a couple of studs used as you can try to toss those in there. Uh, this is the main checkout register where you, you know, turn in your tickets and maybe get some prizes back there potentially. Uh, or uh, purchase tokens, I suppose. This is supposed to be an arcade uh, you know, cabinet here with the joystick over on the left-hand side. These things that stick out up above are supposed to be lights. So that's just supposed to be a small light that's angled down. But this is a pretty respectable design for an arcade cabinet out of a creator set, you know, or you've got to do a whole bunch of other stuff. But this, this is just not fair. You've got the sit-down racing game with another print back there. Let me bring down the seat since you can, and the steering wheel since you can. That's a print. That's awesome. I love that. I'm going to have to uh, integrate that into my own arcade with the uh, <laughs> dark red walls on it because that's just such a cool piece. It, it must be utilized. I can't do without that because it exists. Nice little... Uh, Nice little sit-down area here, well-shaped, well-sized. You can fit a full adult minifig very easily. I appreciate the angling of everything. It just, it just looks great. I love that. A little bit too much. And then just a, a small little area for having some, some refreshments and a snack. I guess those are supposed to be just a couple cans of soda. And there's one slice of pizza. I'm just wondering where they bought the pizza from. I'm assuming you would be in, inside of this establishment. I'm assuming this type of place would not allow you to bring your own food in here. So I guess that's what all this space here is for. You're supposed to imagine it or build it yourself with your own parts. Incidentally, this build completely discards the whole idea of the modular design of things. You can take this <laughs> welcoming plate off, but that's it. Everything else is is really tied into the build. You've got a hinge right here, but it's not actually able to be used until you start really taking some stuff apart. So this is built as is and really designed to be used just like this, uh, which I think is perfectly fine. But here's the main build that uses all the parts, and this one does fully embrace the modular system, potentially to a fault, but at least the, the main build here does work, even if you don't start trying to take things apart. And this is what they mostly advertise on the front of the box, and it has definitely the most features. Really not a skating-focused build, though. I mean, you've got this one area over here that's set up to be used with the skateboard and also with this uh, little, little scooter that's a, a clever, small, simple build. Obviously, it doesn't have wheels that actually turn, but that's okay. Those are smooth enough. You can still play with it kind of realistically. I like to think of this as actually being the ground level and everything else being beneath it, you know, like the street level. Uh, just a different way of looking at things, but you know, you've got a little area where you can shoot some hoops. They've got a, a fountain or a water spigot back over there, as well as a drain, a couple of sport drink bottles as well. Uh, up on the top of the roof is kind of a just a hangout area. If you can make it up there, they're suggesting that that would be a good place to to have some some snacks, you know, take a little bit of a break. They've done a little bit of something different with the mounting of the security camera here on the ball joint, just a little bit different way of doing that. Got a wall climb going all the way up this wall with, with some uh, building just pretty straight up and down, but then you get down to the, the lower section of it, and this is set up with most of the building on its side. That's pretty clever also. Another feature that you can climb up. I like what they did for this this uh, lantern in the front. Again, just something a little bit different, you know, a little porch light kind of setup, just a little bit different. You can do some exercises off of this bar as well. Looking around this side, it's still covered up. That's good. Glad to see another wall here rather than the beginning of everything being opened up. Obviously, those are modular pieces there that can be pulled out, but I'll do that in just a minute. Coming around to the back, you have some interior space, so let me get you in there. Here they've set up a couch, and I would think of that as a, 
a pull-out bed style couch so you could actually sleep there as well if this is a place that you're staying and they've got a game being played on the flat screen TV up on the wall I don't see a console here but there is a console on the first floor let me take a floor off to let some more light in so just over on the left there's your gaming console set up with a TV and the TV doesn't have any print or a sticker on it so you have to use your imagination a little bit it's supposed to be the controller there the one by two black plate I believe and then over here just some shelves and a little boom box at this point I have taken some stuff apart to like I said let some more light in there this top roof section is able to hinge back and forth I can get that to work so it goes the full 180 degrees there. Again, these window parts are obvious modules that can be pulled out. This is interesting. That's a module of its own that can be pulled out. I think this one, yeah, this is also, this is one, this is kind of set up as a module just attached on there. Front is also one, all this. This comes apart here, but this section here is supposed to pop up. There we go. So yeah, have all these pieces. Let me put them together differently. Well, this is different. Uh, doesn't mean it's necessarily good. Doesn't mean it necessarily makes too much sense. Uh, I did try to use as many pieces as possible, including the couple of extra kind of window segments that I placed on the back there in a way that made the most sense possible and they're not really going with the modular system there just kind of stuck there got the half open roof as well you know I wanted to really reshape the whole thing to show off what you could do with the modular components but just like with the sets of last season it doesn't work all that well you know it has limited utility it, it's nice to kind of I think get the creative juices flowing uh, especially for kids who are really stuck on just building things according to the instructions and then leaving things exactly like that. And, you know, if anything changes, if anything gets knocked apart, then that's considered a broken set. You know, kind of, uh, I think, targets kids that have that kind of mindset, which is actually extremely common, even though many people try to deny it. You know, so it... You know, as soon, basically, as soon as you start grabbing this thing, things start to fall apart, and it gives you the idea that you can, uh, you know, put things together, put things back together in different ways. That one piece actually wasn't supposed to come apart, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't work all that great, to be honest. I think that the full rebuilds work much better, and also the little bit of modularity that they had for the smallest build that was pretty cool. So, unexpectedly, I definitely like the secondary and tertiary builds way better than the main build that they advertise on the front of the box that they try to you know, use as the, the flagship build that uses all of the pieces. I think these ones that use just a fraction of the pieces just work out much better. They just make more sense. I think that the modular system feels a little bit forced here in some ways. It does have some merit, but I think it's not as as good as it ought to be i think that in some in some scenarios it takes more away than it actually adds and i think this is a, a perfect example of that but these are really good it's certainly a great parts pack and it's a good source of inspiration that's for sure thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this and i'm going to get to work on my next video so i'll be talking to you again as soon as i can catch you later